Hello, this is Archie Dunlop with Talking Astrology with Archie on Saturday, June the 3rd, 2023. Today, I want to talk about Sister Wilhelmina. Now, she was a nun who was born in 1924 and who died in 2019. So she died about four years ago. And her body was dug up or disinterred or whatever. And it was found, apparently, that it was in perfect condition. Now, this is a sign of something special. Uh, this might be a sign that someone is particularly close to God. Um, if you're a Catholic, this might be a sign of sainthood eventually. Of course, in the Catholic Church, it takes a very long time to become a saint. There's a lot of, there's a complicated process um, that one has to go through. And it's not unusual to associate a body in perfect condition with holiness. Um, in 1984, when I was in Goa, there was something called the Exposition regarding St. Francis Xavier. And every 10 years, I think it was every 10 years, his body was revealed, was, was shown to the public. And you could go to this church and have a look at his body and see how, see what kind of condition it was in. And so I'm, well, I'm not a Catholic, but I happened to be there at the time. So I went along to have a look at St. Francis Xavier. Um, so, yeah, so it's, it's not, it's not unusual. To give you um, an idea of how special uh, Sister Wilhelmina um, was, um, we're going to look at a news article from 2019. Um, this news article um, is in the, the Catholic Key, the Diocese of Kansas City, uh, St. Joseph. And it's kind of... Um, right up just after she died. You see, it was four years ago. This came out June, June 6, 2019. And the writer says, she was the treasure of our community, or quotes the abbess, or she was the treasure of our community and bedrock of charity, said Mother Abbess Cecilia Snell of the Benedictines of Mary, Queen of Apostles, located in Gower, Missouri. Now, I believe the um, Benedictines of Mary, Queen of Apostles, was an order actually founded by Sister Wilhelmina in 1995. Now, what's great about this article, and we have to accept that the data it gives is correct, but, you know, it is the Catholic key, so who am I to doubt what it says in it? So it says, Sister Mary Wilhelmina of the Most Holy Rosary, OSB, died Wednesday, May the 29th, at 8.35 p.m. She was born on April the 13th, 1924, on Palm Sunday. Sister Wilhelmina recently celebrated her 75th anniversary of vows and her 95th birthday. And this article gives quite a touching description of, of her death. Um, it's right at the end. Um, so let's see. Um, on May the 29th, following First Vespers, so the Ascension had already begun. And I should say that in 2019, May the 29th was the day before Ascension Day. So Ascension Day was um, May the 30th, 2019. Um, and Ascension Day is a celebration or a remembrance of when Christ finally left the apostles and ascended into heaven. So on May the 29th, following First Vespers, so the ascension had already begun, the entire community of 38 nuns gathered at 7 p.m. in Sister Wilhelmina's cell. After reading and singing, the community chanted Compline, or night prayer, in her cell. As Mother Abbess was giving the traditional sprinkling of water from oldest to youngest nun, immediately after sprinkling Sister Wilhelmina, Sister Wilhelmina peacefully breathed her last breath. So that's a great way to go. Um, and what I wanted to do was um, look at her chart. 
Um, I don't have a time of birth, um, but still we might be able to tell something interesting um, by looking at this. Um, so here's the chart. I've set it for noon on April the 13th, 1924. Um, and I think I set this for St. Louis in, but it, it's a it's a it's a midday chart. So wherever precisely she was born, it's not going to make a great deal of difference um, to her planets. So she was an Aries. Now, someone who sets up their own order, um, you know, must that's a quite an Aries thing to do. You know, she wants to do things maybe her way. It doesn't mean she's selfish. It means she's perhaps inspired. And there you can see that Sun in Aries, square Mars in Capricorn. You know, this is this strikes me as being a very headstrong woman. Um, yeah, who certainly, if she wants to do something, she will do it, and nothing, nothing will stop her. Um, and look at the nodes. We've I've been talking about the nodes a lot. Again, I don't have her time of birth, but. Uh, you know, she's got the North Node in Virgo, South Node in Pisces. Um, you know, the South Node is the line of least resistance, you know, the chaos of Pisces. Um, you know, poor spirituality, um, getting all confused, messed up and whatever. But she's left that behind. Her North Node is Virgo. And Virgo, you know, one really does think of... Um, you know, the Virgo, the pure life of a nun. Yeah, that seems on the surface at least to be to be the right thing to be doing if you've got the North Node in Virgo. Because, you know, being a nun or living a monastic life, it's it's really very organized, I assume, with tight schedules and all of this and having to get up early for different prayers and so on. So that fits. But what I find particularly interesting about this chart is the fire. Uh, she has got her sun in Aries. She's got the moon in Le she's got the moon in Leo. She's got both the sun and moon in Leo. So very fiery person. Uh, her sun is trine Jupiter. Okay, it's quite a wide trine, but it's it's a tr trine Jupiter, and it's also trine Neptune. So she's actually got a grand trine in fire, and um, you know the fire the fiery aspect of being religious is is sometimes uh, downplayed but um, Carl Jung was a Leo and uh, Carl Jung um, well if you don't know he was um, psychotherapist psychiatrist he, he wrote a huge huge amount about symbolism and he was interviewed shortly before his death and you can you can find the interview on um, on YouTube and he was asked the question whether he believed in God. And he said that he didn't believe in God because he knew God existed. And that, I think, shows us the difference between a water sign and a fire sign. Water signs perhaps believe in God because they have faith. You know, that's a very watery thing. But fire signs... They have an intuition. They just know God exists. It's not you don't have to have faith. It's just there. That's that's it's 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 obvious. Um, at least that's my understanding of her grand trine in her grand trine in far signs. And furthermore, if you look at the chart, she doesn't actually have very much water. She's only got the generational planets of Uranus and Neptune and um, Pluto in water signs. So. If, uh, if you only look at the, tra uh, the traditional planets, she has actually hasn't got any, yeah, she hasn't got any traditional planets, sun, fruit, or Saturn, in water signs. And so I think that, that that really tells us perhaps something about her spirituality. I think that she, um, she had a strong intuition about God. And at the same time, she was probably quite tough and wasn't swayed by sort of emotional niceties and you know like she you know she set up her own order she departed from one place moved to another she knew she had to do it so I think that fits that fits very well so um, as far as her death is concerned um, now 
I know I, uh, I look at death charts too much, but I think in her case, her death chart may be important because it actually tells us something about who she is and maybe where she's going. You know, she died on Ascension Day. For a holy person to die just before Ascension Day, on the eve of Ascension Day, you know, that is great. So, but can we actually find that um, in her horoscope? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up um, a by wheel, which means inner ring. So in the inner ring, I'm going to put uh, her chart. On the outer ring, I'm going to put the chart of her death. Uh, so let's uh, let's see what we we get. Um, so we can see that um, she died pretty much on her Jupiter return. So when she died in 2019, Jupiter was at 2056 Sagittarius. And she had her Jupiter at 1949, 1949 Sagittarius. So she died just around her, just around her Jupiter return. And so Jupiter at this point at 20, 2056 Sagittarius was hitting her grand trine, that grand trine, which is all about her knowledge um, that God exists. So Jupiter at 20, 20 Sagittarius was starting to make the trine to her sun and it was making the trine to her Neptune. And furthermore, when she died, the moon was at 15 degrees, 49 minutes Aries. So the moon was starting to join this grand trine, um, you know, slowly. But the next day, Ascension Day, the moon would have come up, would have, would have come up to her sun. And, you know, this Jupiter in her position, conjunct her Jupiter, starting to make a trine to the sun is a reminder that Jupiter, you know, is, can be so often associated with death, um, you know, a release. Um, and, you know, with, you know, with that Jupiter hitting her grand trine, um, you know, did she ascend to heaven? Well, I think on the basis of, on the basis of astrology, um, there's there's good evidence, good good sign there that you know this was a holy person. She died. She was released by Jupiter, and she could you know go back to her father and you know whatever. Um, so yeah, I think I think her death chart actually adds adds meaning to meaning to her life. And um, you know I think if anyone. Um, was able to, you know, is, was able to, um, you know, be a saint, um, and we just look at we just look at um, look at the, look at the astrology of the situation. Yeah, I mean that seems that seems a powerful signature of it. I just want to quickly um, look at her chart, is isolated on its own, the death chart that is. Um, so there's a death chart on its own, and we can see that she died exactly at sunset because the sun is um the sun was you know on the seventh house cusp so the seventh house the end of the day the end of someone's life you know that is that is a that is a you know a perfect sign of of death and i suppose you know she died at the age of 95 so that was um you know the end of the end of a end of a good life and if anyone ascended to heaven, I think it was her. Anyway, uh, that's all I'm going to say for today. And I will talk to you very soon.